Hello everyone, my name is Virender and welcome you all back to DevOps and Cloud YouTube channel. So guys, you can join our WhatsApp group, you can join our Telegram group from the given QR code or you can join from the description below. The link will be given to the description box. So I hope you all are fine. You all are doing very well in your career and your studies and in your life. So as you all are already aware about that, we are have uploading videos on YouTube that is basically related to your Amazon Web Services or you can say AWS Cloud and we have already uploaded two three topics so you have given a very good response to those videos your comments means a lot to me as well as to our channel and today we are going to discuss about a very interesting or very important topic in terms of security or in terms of your AWS Cloud and in every 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 single interview whether you are going for AWS cloud engineer or you are going for your AWS architect or any particular role they are going to ask you question about VPC they will ask you what is VPC and what do you understand by the VPC so our today's agenda is to understand that particular VPC topic inside AWS with a very household real life example so after watching this particular video, you will be 101% familiar with this particular topic and you will feel very confident that, that okay, that is VPC, right? Okay. So let's start the video and we'll start with a very uh, basic agenda. So let's take an example of a house. Let's say guys, this is your house and inside that particular house, you live with your family. And in this particular house, you have decided that we are going to create a private space for ourselves right now let's say this particular house is a public house what is the meaning of this public house public house means anyone can enter inside this house and anyone can go outside from this house now you are the owner of this house and you want to divide this house into sections section number one that is this and this is your section number two in this particular section you have let's say one room and that is your private room and there is a, another room let's say this is your guest room you can say guest room or you can say public facing room what is the difference now and your house is equal to your VPC VPC means virtual private cloud virtual private cloud okay. now understand that you want that only you and your family members can enter inside this private room and can go outside from this private room only you and your sort of family members they can only access this particular private room okay and your neighborhood your neighbors your friends your mates your colleagues they can access your guest room they can enter inside your guest room and they can go outside from your guest room so now you are creating a private space for yourself and this private space with a real time example is a very you can say a physical private space right these are the walls of the rooms this is a room with the help of brick cement you have made that particular house so this is a physical infrastructure this is a physical house now the house is equal to vpc what does that mean virtual private cloud virtual private cloud means inside the cloud whether it's the aws cloud it's azure cloud or it's a gcp cloud or any other cloud provider every cloud provider has a virtual private cloud for all the customers any customer who is coming to that cloud provider and say that i want to use your cloud services and as my infrastructure is on the on premises the physical infrastructure i have but i also want to put my some resources some a little bit infrastructure to your cloud as well but I want to create a private space inside the cloud so that 
complete accessibility will have only me or maybe my colleagues in my company or my staff in my company just like that inside your house your father has the access to this private room your mother has access to this private room your brother your sister has access to this private room but someone is coming from your neighborhood can't access this particular private room just like that when you put your resources inside any cloud provider let's take an example of aws so you have put it some resources inside aws and you are saying that i want to deploy my particular website on a particular virtual machine and i want to put that particular server inside my private space right let's take a very interesting example when you are searching on the google about amazon.com or you are just searching for amazon.com over here you can only access the resources which are given on this particular website you can click on those resources but can you access what is happening in the back end can you access the code of this particular website can you access the servers where this particular website has been deployed already can you access the permissions which are given to the administrator inside the back end can you access the private infrastructure of this particular website or these private resources behind the scenes which are running in the aws cloud for this particular amazon's website no you can only access those resources those items which are given on this particular website for public anyone from the public can access these particular resources which are given on the public facing server so this is your public facing room which means anyone who is coming from the public can access these resources but what is happening in the back end your code your all the permissions your private data your private photos private pictures all these things whichever you have put it on this private room no one can access those things meanwhile you can provide permissions to a particular person you can provide permissions to a particular group so that they can access these things but without your prior permissions they cannot access those things which are you are putting inside the private room or in the private virtual private cloud so now we have understand that vpc is nothing but a virtual private space a virtual private isolated space inside any cloud so that you can put your some resources or your all resources inside that particular cloud and you will be having all the accessibility who can access that particular thing who can access that particular thing so when we talk about aws vpc vpc has different different kinds of components so first you are going to create a vpc once you create your vpc after creation of the vpc you have to divide that vpc into subnets right and also you have to give some range as well some ip range as well right so let's say you have given a range of 10.10.10.10/24 to your vpc what does that mean this is a cidr range guys classless interdomain routing which means Slash twenty four means you know one IP address, one IPv four address has four octets. Ten dot ten dot ten dot ten. These four tens are nothing but four octets. Every octet is a size of eight bits. That's why one IP address, one IPv four address is called as thirty two bits of IPv four address. Eight bits. Plus eight bits plus eight bits plus eight bits is a thirty-two bits of IP address. That's the reason behind that. Now, from these thirty-two bits, you have fixed twenty-four bits. Slash twenty-four means you have fixed twenty-four bits, which means eight bits, eight bits, and eight bits. These three bits cannot be changed. Only only this bit can change. Which means the next IP address would be ten dot ten dot ten dot eleven because these three cannot be changed because you have written slash 24 which means you have fixed those 24 bits right so you have given the range of this ip address for your vpc which means from this particular ip address to 
टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव दिस मच आई पी एड्रेस इज कैन कम इन साइड योर वी पी सी योर लेट से दिस वी पी सी इज योर हाउस एंड यू आर गिविंग दीज आई पी एड्रेस इज दैट ओके माई फादर्स आई पी एड्रेस इज टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट ट्वेल्व माई मदर्स आई पी एड्रेस इज थर्टीन माई सिस्टर्स इज फोर्टीन माई ब्रदर इज फिफ्टीन दीज फोर आई पी एड्रेस इज कैन कम इन साइड माई प्राइवेट सबनेट सबनेट इज नथिंग बट द डिविजन ऑफ योर वी पी सी and this is your public subnet and apart from these four ip addresses all the ip addresses you have given to this public subnet that from these ip addresses anyone is coming they can access my public resources whichever i am putting on this public subnet in this public subnet let's say you have two servers on do those two servers on one one server you have deployed your website and on one server you have deployed some resources some images or some songs or some media so that anyone is from public and coming or coming on your website they can access your website they can access the songs they can watch the video they can do everything but in your private subnet you have two servers and that particular server you have deployed your database which means if any customer is coming from the internet on your public subnet resources and they are creating their username and id this username and id will be saved inside that particular database but the public cannot access your database they cannot access each other's information from your application right so this is the agenda of your private subnet and your public subnet which means there are some resources inside your organization which you want to put or you want to deploy inside private space so that no one can access those things but they can access only when you you give permissions to them but you have few resources you want to deploy on the public subnet so that i mean from the public is coming or uh, they can access those resources now the interviewer will ask you the question that how a, how anyone from the public can access the resources from the public subnet what is the way to access those public resources so the answer is internet gateway so we have one igw which means internet gateway this gateway you will be attaching to your public subnet you have to create virtual i internet gateway then you will be associate that internet gateway to your public subnet right so for anyone is coming from the internet let's say i have typed amazon.com so my request first goes to this internet gateway this internet gateway will check that the request is authenticated or not then it will transfer my request to this particular public subnet and in our previous video we have discussed about ec2 and before that we have discussed about security groups and nacls so the request first will go to the nacl network access control list the virtual firewall work on the subnet level so the nacl will check the request is allowed or not if this allowed then the request will go enter inside and inside we have ec2 where the virtual firewall security group that will also check the inbound rules that the user is authenticated or not permitted or not so this is how inside aws you can create your own isolated virtual private space so that you can have all the accessibility you can decide that who can enter inside your private space and who can enter inside your pub public space so we have discussed about the vpc we have discussed about with a very real time example real life example with the house example the rooms example we have discussed about the ipv4 ip address we have discussed about classless inter domain routing we have discussed about private subnet public subnet and a little bit about internet gateway and a revision kind of thing about network access control list and ec2 security groups i hope this video finds you the solution to understand what is a vpc inside aws and if you have any kind of doubt any kind of query you can put comment inside the comment box i will read the comment and if you have suggestions please um open to suggestions i am open to uh, advices you want me to change something you want me to put more efforts or whatever you like feel like okay you can comment in the comment box so that's all for today's short video we will meet in the next video with a very interesting topic till then take care bye bye thank you so much guys